And now we have some kind of a dinosaur over here. Small town ball field. I already can't remember the name of the North Dakota town we find ourselves in. I don't recall, unless we were here when we were kids, children, ever being in North Dakota. I know we took a trip to Montana one year. Now I gotta find Isa, there she is. Literally a walk in the park here. Beautiful Friday fall afternoon. This is a nice place to uh, to see. We we'll continue walking around the park here. The first time I've ever used this phone for videos. I think I've turned it on about three times already when I shouldn't have. Let you hear the sound. Beautiful sound water. Just another view of the park here. I must call it a little park. I watch my footing here. Uh, there's a swimming pool way right down there. Little pond or lake. Looks like a really pretty nice baseball field over there, judging by the wall and the uh, the uh, backstop there. It's actually part of a golf course, but it's a park and it's really very impressive for a town of 3,380, I guess over here. They have some event, band music. They'll do it right out here. Really, really beautiful. And the trees, of course, this time of year. Yeah, not so much there. A lot of nice color. Turn the camera around here. We've got some people fishing. This little lake here. Still in the same park. Pleasantly surprised. Come out here, walk around. Another getaway for us here. We are in North Dakota at the moment. Starting in Minnesota. Small town, USA, here somewhere in North Dakota. Isa absolutely loves these places. 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 people. She, she would love to live in a small place. She doesn't like those big, you know, million, two million population cities that she's used to. They were just telling us here that they swim in the summer and just have a need a license you can come over here and fish i think the gray sand is unusual let's head this way a little bit windy probably in the 60s just heaven on earth here with this kind of weather outdoors see a lot of red or orange out here and mostly yellow and and green for the nature pretty cool I don't know if you can see it but I guess there's a llama or two or three over there you can sure smell them but it's hard to see unless I a different angle. I don't know what these things are, but I'm convinced they have something to do with extraterrestrial life somehow. See these all over, all over the road. Just wanted to come by and look at this infield. Look how beautifully smooth this infield is. There's third base, pitcher's mound, first base over there second base but you can tell they take care of it this is always like playing on 
infields that were really nice. This is pretty cool. On a beautiful golf course here. I just registered my first hole in one and unfortunately we didn't get the camera turned on in time. So you'll just have to take my word for that one. Right now we are in North Dakota and I'm going to take a couple steps here and we'll be entering Minnesota. Here we go. How about that? Two states in like two seconds. Now just uh, on the other side of the bridge, now entering North Dakota. <laughs> now this house, we here you see about, I don't know, a dozen turkeys. That's what they were called. Nobody lives here. They're just wild turkeys hanging out. Apparently they're on the friendly side Look at that. That's beautiful. Can you do that again? <laughs> wow, that's impressive. See, spread their wings like that. Turkeys, huh? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I guess they hang out here, apparently. How do you like that? Kind of big and shiny. It's starting to get a little bit dark here. Wild turkeys in the neighborhood.